Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Blackjack Johnny and hopefully I'm going to be showing you how to create some uh, nicely detailed arches for doorways, windows, uh, whatever, what have you. So I'm just going to uh, show you some of these examples here. As you can see we can create pointed ones, we can create windows and door frames um, and all sorts of uh, various other things using this technique. So. Let's get started. I'm just going to uh, get rid of these real quick. And uh, we're going to select our cult texture, switch back to our top view using the uh, control tab. And we're going to add ourselves a little actor in here. So just right click in the uh, 2D window, go to actor, select whatever actor you wish. And uh, we're just going to use this guy for scale. Uh, we're just going to help him uh, help us build our. Uh, <laughs> little structure here so I'm just going to switch back into my top view and I'm going to draw out two grid 8 size brushes and these are going to act as our uh, door frame pieces um, at this point we could resize just for scared if we wanted to it's not too important at this stage so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my top view and just pull these brushes out just a little bit this way okay and what I'm trying to do is make this side grid 16 this side grid 8 uh, we'll see why uh, a little bit later in this tutorial. So with that done, switch back to your front view. I didn't do anything there. <laughs> and uh, draw out another brush uh, that purposefully intersects and overlaps with these uh, other two brushes here. And then we're going to switch back into the top view. This is very important for this bit. Uh, come up to patch and then select uh, simple curve patch and for width I'm going to add 5 and for height I'm just going to leave it at 3. Click OK. Switch back down at your front view and press V. Drag out and select these verts and then just use Alt left click to drag them up. And I'm going to drag them up until it starts to go smooth. You can see jagged, smooth, smooth. <laughs> I'm going to leave them there. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to switch down to grid 4. And I'm just going to select this, these verts on this side and just drag them left. Uh, when you're doing this, it's we have to get these quite precise because when we thicken this patch, we want it to line up with our um, our brushes here. So it might take a little bit of work, and you might have to do this a couple of times. But I'm going to try and do it first time. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you how to make a pointed one if you wanted to. Drag those middle ones up, just like a church window or something. But I'm going to just create a nice rounded arch for this particular one. And once we're happy with our shape, just press B to get rid of your verts, and then press Control shift t to bring up the Thicken tool. I'm going to leave it on grid 8, leave seams on, and click OK. Oh, look at that. I got it done the first time. It's lined up really nicely with our brushes there. Uh, I don't have to worry about it too much. You might not be able to do this first time. I got lucky. You might have to uh, just jig about with it a little bit. So I'm just going to delete the excess patches here. They were created when we thickened this uh, brush here. We don't need them. So I'm just going to get rid. Uh, next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to text you this quickly. Um, obviously, you take your time when you're doing yours. Um, when it comes to texturing these patches now, it might take a little bit more work. Um, I'm just going to do it quickly here. See how they look. No, they look pretty warped. So I'm just going to reselect them. And uh, I'm just going to press S on my keyboard to bring up the surface inspector. And I'm just going to use the natural setting. That'll do me for this purpose. You take your time. Don't do it as quick as this. Get it looking really nice. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to make these two uh, brushes detail. Right click in your 2D window and just make them detail. That's just for optimization um, for when we compile our map. And now all I'm going to do is select all of these pieces, including our actor if we want him. And I'm going to save it as a prefab. So with them all selected, go to File, Save Selected, Underscore Prefabs, save it wherever you like. I'm going to call this, I've still already got Arch Underscore 4. That'll do. Now we can delete this now um, and we can bring it back as a prefab. So right click in your 2D window, go to MISC prefab, locate where you saved it, uh, just select it and load it back in. And we can place this wherever we want it now. I'm just going to move it around and line it back up with our uh, floor here. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate quickly how we can uh, implement this into our building because it's, it's a little bit more tricky to line things up with this arch so I'm just going to show you quickly how we can go about doing that. I'm just going to draw these uh, simple brushes in here just to represent um, our structured walls whatever we were adding this to 
And it's important when you draw in this middle brush here to leave a little bit of a gap between the arch and uh, this brush. And you'll see why in a second. Oh, hello. <laughs> They're a little bit thick. Let's bring that back to a grid eight. And when I do, you'll see why we made one side of the brushes a little bit thicker than the other, because we want this sticking out a little bit. Um, well, we don't have to, but <laughs> it's uh, just for detail purposes. So next I'm just going to uh, texture these walls here nice and quick. I'm just going to texture the faces rather than the whole brush. Uh, give it a nice simple brick texture. And now we need to fill in this area here. Uh, there's a couple of ways we could go about doing this. What I would do is just draw in a brush in this area here, line it up with our uh, other brushes and also the top part of our brushes of our arch. Um, and we can either use the clipper tool to clip away and create loads of little brushes and then manipulate those around. But um, I'm going to show you a slightly quicker way. Um, all I'm going to do is draw that same brush in, go up to Patch, Simple Terrain, click OK. Press V on the keyboard and then we're going to add some more verts in here. You should know how to do that if you watched any of my other tutorials. If you haven't, go ahead and watch them. <laughs> uh, now I'm just going to manipulate the, the verts on the bottom uh, row of this patch. I'm just going to bring them up uh, until the entire um, bottom side of this patch is hidden within the patch we created for our arch. Okay, You see that there, it's not poking through. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it over to this side. Uh, I'm going to texture this now. I'm just going to give it the same texture as our, our outside walls with brick. And what I'm going to do to make sure the textures line up between the patch and the walls, I'm going to press S and I'm just going to use light map. As you can see there, there's absolutely no discernible difference between the textures uh, between our patch and our wall. Uh, so that's a handy little tip. So the next thing, just uh, cop uh, copy that patch over, move it to the other side of our wall. Uh, come up to patch, invert, or just control I, and then texture the inside of these now, just to represent the inside of our building. And I'm just going to select a quick texture, texture usage, internal wall, blah, 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 texture, texture. That'll do us. And you see, same thing on the other side, there's no discernible texture here. Um, we can. There's no differences at all. And that's just about it. Uh, nothing overly complicated there. We just created some nice bit of detail for ourselves there, and um, we can also use the same technique to create all sorts of different stuff. Um, but just before uh, we finish this tutorial, I just want to talk a little bit about the light grid the texture. Okay, whenever we apply uh, a texture to a surface, there's another texture that's applied called the light grid, and when you compile your map, the game uses this to calculate how the um, surface is going to look uh, when, when light bounces off it. As you can see here, I've just switched into uh, light grid mode just by pressing shift L and you can see this uh, checker box type um, texture here. This is our light grid texture and sometimes when this is screwed up it will cause us to have issues in our compile and also it may not display our textures properly in game because they couldn't calculate how this texture is going to look or how this surface is going to look. So all you're going to do is you're going to come in and you're, either, you're just going to use the surface inspector and either use natural or light map just so the checker boxes all line up nicely. <laughs> I'm being very simple about my explanation but that's the idea. Um, just get everything up, get everything uh, lined up nicely and then just save and uh, you shouldn't have any problems in your compiler in game. So that's just about it. We talked about arches and light grids. I'm just going to speed things up here. Just a little bit just to show you uh, <laughs> really quickly what else we can do using uh, this technique it is really simple I've just added some more verts just to manipulate that a little bit more you can see I'm just creating something silly here I think I was living out my harem fantasy when I made this um, but the same same rules apply same thing I did before you might need a little bit more manipulation more verts but again just the same thing applies with a little bit of imagination you can come up with some really cool stuff Find the limits of this, play with it, and see what you can do. So I've just um, compiled this now. I'm just going to have a quick look in game. I've speeded this video up, which is why it looks so jerky. But here we are in game. They look nice. And um, we've got our window there. We've got our pointed arch. We've got our normal arches. Uh, I really hope you've uh, enjoyed this tutorial. I really hope it helps you create some uh, nice detail for your map. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.